Hey guys, today we are going to review factoring. To check your factoring answers, you can graph the one variable expressions and answers to see if they match. So this first one right here is gonna be a perfect example to do that. My only variable is x, so I will graph the problem and the answer I get to make sure that they match. So we're gonna review greatest common factor first because that is what you always want to check for first when you are factoring. Remember, you just look at the numbers and you think about what's the largest number that's gonna go into both of those numbers. And that would be eight. And then you look at the variables x squared and x and your GCF is the lowest exponent of your common variables. The lowest exponent is just the x right there, so my GCF is eight x. So now I am going to divide each of these things by 8x and put the leftovers inside the parentheses. 56x squared divided by 8x is 7x and negative 8x divided by 8x is negative 1. So the final answer is 8x times 7x minus 1. I'm going to double check that I did this correctly by typing in my original problem and my final answer. And they make the same parabola, so it looks like I did this correctly. All right, let's look at the second one, 90a squared b minus 18a. 90 and 18 have a common factor of 18. A squared and A, the GCF of that would be A, and then B is not a part of my GCF since it's only in the first term. So my GCF is 18A. So now I'm going to divide each term by 18A. 90A squared B divided by 18A is 5AB. And negative 18A divided by 18A is negative 1. Okay, last one, I have two terms. Let's take the GCF of them. 10 and negative 100 have a GCF of 10. Only the first term has an X in it, so that's not gonna be a part of my GCF. And then they both have a Y. So 10Y is the GCF. Now I'm going to divide each term by 10Y. 10X to the third divided by Y is X to the third, and 100Y divided by 10Y is minus 10. So there's our factored expression. Okay, the second type of factoring you will encounter on your star test is trinomials. You are going to use this when there are three terms. You're always going to want to check for GCF first, even if you see three terms, but if you see the three terms, then you are going to factor them. We factored this using the x. So Remember, you need your trinomial to be in standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c. And we used the x to help us find those magic numbers. We put a times c up top, and that was the number that we multiplied to. And then we put b at the bottom, and that was the number that we added to. And then you're going to get your two magic numbers and that will be what you split your BX term up into. Okay, on this one, we don't have to go through the grouping part because this is just a basic trinomial. And there was no GCF because there's no number here and they don't all have an X in them. So just a basic trinomial, I just have to figure out what two numbers multiply to 63 and add to negative 16. If you're having a hard time coming up with the numbers, then just start dividing 63 and just guessing and checking. So 63 divided by three is 21. Three and 21 is not gonna work. Um, I'm gonna try 63 divided by six. That's a decimal, so that doesn't work. 63 divided by nine. 9 and 7 add to 16. If I make them both negative, then they'll add to the negative 16. So negative 9 and negative 7 are my numbers. You could split this up into negative 9x minus 7x and group if you wanted to, but we don't need to since it's just a basic trinomial. I can jump to my factors, which are going to be x minus 9 and x minus 7. Okay. 
Okay, let's look at this next one. It's a trinomial. I don't see a GCF. So let's jump to the X. I need to figure out what multiplies to 10 times negative 10, which is negative 100, and adds to 21. So I'm multiplying to negative 100 and adding to 21. I believe that would be 25 and negative four, yes. Those are my numbers, 25 and negative four. So now since this one's not a basic trinomial, I'm going to split this 21m into 25m minus 4m, and then I'll have four terms and can factor by grouping. So I get 10m squared, I'm gonna put plus 25m minus 4m, for the 21m and then bring down the minus 10. And now I have four terms so I can factor this by grouping the GCF of 10m squared plus 25m would be 5m and 10m squared divided by 5m is 2m and 25m divided by 5m is 5. And then the GCF of this second group I'm gonna make sure it's negative so that my common binomials will match and negative four and negative 10 have a common factor of two. So negative two is that GCF, negative four M divided by negative two is two M and negative 10 divided by negative two is five. So now I'm going to factor out this common binomial. I'll put that in one group and my GCFs of five M minus two in another group. Okay, then the last type of factor you will see on your star test is a difference of two squares. You're going to use this pattern when there are two terms being subtracted that are both perfect squares. And remember, you'll take the square root of the first term, the square root of the second term, and then those are your numbers or your terms for the binomials. You just make one group of plus and one group of minus. So let's look at this one. We wanna check for GCF first. I don't see a GCF. I do see two terms that are being subtracted. So let's make sure that it is a difference of two squares. I can take the square root of 49, that is seven, or 49x squared, that is seven x, and then the square root of 64 is eight. So this would factor into seven x plus eight, times seven X minus eight. Okay, and this last one, I do see a GCF of 25. 125 are both divisible by 25. So first thing I'm taking is the GCF and I will get four M squared minus N squared. And if I look what's inside the parentheses for m squared minus n squared, that is still a difference of two squares. I see the subtraction and then the square root of four m squared is two m and the square root of n squared is n. So I can factor this further. My GCF is still gonna be out front and it will factor into two m plus n times two m minus n.